Hi, it's State Representative Jim Walsh here in my office in the John L. O'Brien building at the State Capitol in Olympia. This is our week six weekly update on what's been going on here at the Capitol during this current legislative session. We are at the point now where most of the pure policy bills have been heard through committee. They'll still be heard on the floor, but the focus of that work is shifted. Now we're looking more at fiscal bills. I've mentioned before there was the pure policy cutoff that happened last week. What we're facing this week is work toward the fiscal cutoff. That means bills that have a direct impact on the budgets and on taxes now have the focus during the session. I've been getting a surprising number of emails and social media messages from constituents who are on me saying, Walsh, you need to talk more about taxes. There are a number of proposals made primarily by legislators from the other side of the aisle that are going to raise taxes in this state, even though some of their political leaders have said they're not going to raise taxes. There are proposals to raise property taxes. There are proposals to raise what they call document recording fees that are basically real estate related taxes. There are proposals to raise some energy taxes, even higher than they've already been raised. The governor, the state attorney general, and their supporters in the legislature where I work are setting up a number of proposals to raise state taxes even higher. This is at a point in time when property owners, homeowners in Washington are screaming for tax relief, for cutting taxes. Now, uh, the conservatives, people on my side of the aisle, have put forward a number of proposals to cut or at least hold steady property taxes here in the state, not allow them to increase as sharply as they have, to fund tax relief through other methods like the Working Families Tax Credit and give some tax breaks on vehicle-related fees and basically registration fees for cars and trucks. Almost none of these proposals have even been heard yet. They haven't been heard in committees, so they're not getting uh, any attention that they need to get. While the proposals to do the wealth tax or rejigger property taxes higher or add more fees to real estate and other transactions, those are getting hearings. So we see that despite the rhetoric from the governor and the current Speaker of the House in Olympia and the state Senate Majority Leader that they want to try to help working families, their deeds, their actions are showing the opposite. So for the next few weeks, my focus here in Olympia is going to be on taxes. It's going to be on opposing these proposals to raise taxes higher, and it's going to be pushing for at least a few hearings on bills that will either hold taxes steady or maybe even give people a break, lower taxes. This can be done. We're still at a point where our current tax structure has been generating surpluses over the amounts our budgets need. When we're in a place where we still have budget surpluses going on, as we are in Olympia, we don't need to be raising taxes. This is an easy time to be a fiscal conservative. Now is the time to be a fiscal conservative. That's this week's update. I look forward to talking with you again soon.